Now in the chapter of basic algebra and manipulation, let's take a look at checkpoint 4.1. So the first thing that you need to learn how to do is to actually identify the coefficients as well as the constant term. So what does coefficients of x, x to the power of 2 means? It basically means the number that is right before x to the power of 2. Okay, so if let's say I were to put a highlighter, it means the 2 here. Now then you have coefficient of x, which is the one in blue, which is 3. And lastly, all right, you would have the constant term, which is over here okay so now to put it right okay I'm gonna highlight these terms and to have uh, to let you have a better idea okay so to actually fill in all of these numbers we have 2 3 as well as 4 okay now following suit you also have negative 3 1 negative 2 okay and then you have half negative 13 and 14 now what's the key takeaway from this part Okay, first thing you need to know is that if let's say I'm just given an x, it is directly just a 1. Okay, because 0x means that there is no more x. Whereas if I just have x, it basically means that there is a 1x. Okay, can you understand? It's just that in algebra, whenever you have a 1, you just don't write them because you know that it is actually 1. Okay, then the next thing, alright, is the fact that whenever there is a negative, I will put it and include the negative as well. Okay, so unless it is a positive, I mean, you don't have to mention that because positive is just 2, so you don't have to put a plus in front. But if you have a negative, please make sure to actually write negative as your coefficients as well. Okay, 